Hey, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Tuesday, January 31st, 2023. The tarot card for today is the Two of Wands, and this one is from artist Matthew Tribe. For a deck, it's been out for a few years. It's called the ETA Tarot, which is short for Emerging Toronto Artist, and it is a collaborative deck, which, like I said, it's been out for a while. I think this is the first card I've ever shown you from this deck. If you've been listening, a couple days ago, I mentioned coming up to February and knocking on February's door. That's exactly where we are at. We have hit the end of the line of January 2023. And boy, does it put us at a crossroads. Which way? will you go from here february might be the shortest month but it will be a mighty one so be sure you have listened to my february love and finance which is available for free this month on youtube podbean or your favorite podcast provider because february is going to poke you and prod you and there will be twists and turns not all of it is very comfortable there will be some good moments in here And I think they're the ones which help you finally to like stand up and do what you got to do to make things happen. So you're going to want to have a listen to that. But here you are. Like I said, end of the line, knocking on February's door. And there are choices to be made. Life can't continue the way it's been. Now, how are you going to go about choosing? Do you need immediate fix? Do you have a long-term plan? One of the things that I always feel with this card is that if you're faced with two choices, the immediate fix and the long-term plan, both are going to have their, you know, obstacles in the way and things that you need to deal with. It's never an easy road, right? You know, the bottom line is is you're you're looking for a better outcome. But, hmm, do you want one that's just a short-term fix that you're going to have to come back and revisit? because it was just like slapping a band-aid on things or do you want to take the road which may be a little more difficult a little bit longer but well worth it in the end because the outcome is one which can sustain you for the long term i would think that unless you know push has come to shove and your back is up against the wall that taking the one which will benefit you more over the long term has to be to your advantage but what truly matters at this crossroads is that it's you you are the one making the choice you know the world is in your hands and you are not being i would say i don't want to say forced because you might feel like you have to make a choice but it is your choice about the direction you want to take next in life Now, whenever you hear me talking every day and you hear me mention aspects which include the North Node, that's pretty indicative of direction change. Now, in two days, we have one coming up between Venus, which is currently exalted in Pisces, and the North Node in Taurus. And Venus is all about love and money. So that's building now, all right? You could be facing something in one of those two categories and trying to you know figure out your direction but you also have coming up tomorrow a sextile between the sun in aquarius and chiron in aries which is something that gives you more confidence when it comes to managing to face wounds head on in order to get things done so take your pick there's plenty to 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 challenge you to twist you to turn you in the coming month and we'll just have to all go through it together i want to thank you all very much for being here i'll see you here again tomorrow and as always have a great day